yeah well in this video we will discuss about some of the exceptions in salesforce which we generally face while writing apex code in salesforce so first is limit exception this exception occurs when we exceed the limit which is provided by or which is defined as a governor limit for an org so when we do more than or when we do uh, more than 100 sql queries in a single call or in a single transaction then we get 101 error and this error or this exception cannot be caught as you can see we are trying to execute it 101 times and then we if it fails then we are catching that exception but this exception cannot be caught as we can see we will just de run this in anonymous window not the name of that exception method and then just execute this so as you can see column one system dot limit exception too many sql queries so we can have only 100 sql queries in a single transaction but in this case we have 101 that's why we are getting this error so if i if i will make it hundred save it and I will again execute this so this is executed successfully without any issue and we will not get anything in the debug because the try block is executed successfully and this has not gone to this catch block that's why the debug is empty so this was about the limit exception second we have s object exception this generally occurs when we try to do something with the data which we have not included in sql query so for an example we have inserted an account with name new account we have inserted it using the dml insert a then we have queried that particular account or we have we are trying to query the account and the condition is all we are querying the account which we recently inserted but we are not querying the name of that particular account as you can see in this so however we are trying to access or the name using this string so string s is equal to list dot name but we don't have any name in this so it will give us an error and uh, we have written in the catch to get the exception name and then the type of exception and the message so we will just run this anonymous window and just execute this now we will see the debug so the name of the exception is s object exception and the following exception has occurred s object row was retrieved via sql without querying the requested field account name because we are trying to set account name into s but we have not queried the name thing so that's why we are getting this exception if we query this name then we will not get this that exception because this query will return id and name and we are setting the name so then it will go to this try block and this uh, not to this catch block so the exception will wipe off third type of exception we have that is type exception so when this type exception occurs if there is any problem with type conversion such as attempting to convert the string a to an integer using the value of method okay so we have value of method using which we can get the value of any field or any particular type we can get the value which is stored in that particular variable so as you can see we have string a in which we have stored a integer b is equal to integer dot value of a value of a will be a and that cannot be an integer so in this case we will get type exception okay so we will just see this go to anonymous window control a control e is the shortcut to go to in anonymous window and then just paste it and execute that and we will go to debug only 
so as you can see exception name is type exception and then the following exception has occurred invalid integer a because a is an invalid integer that's why it that's why it, it has thrown an error okay so now we will go to our next exception that is assert exception a system dot assert failure that halt halts the code execution optionally contains a custom message specified in the last message argument to the assert method so we have account ac uh, we have created an account and the name of that account is test name we have inserted it then we are querying that id and name and then system dot assert equals account dot name so what account name is test name and we are comparing it with test and then assertion exception occurred so there is an exception because the name will not be seen test name test so that's why so we we'll just execute this control e and then the name method name column one assert exception assert failed except assert exception occurred expected test name actual test okay so they were expecting test name to be there but it was test that's the reason we got this assert exception okay then moving ahead we have json exception so any problem with json serialization and deserialization operation so any problem with the format of the json or the structure of that particular json we will get json exception if you miss any uh, single quote or double quote or any curly brace is wrong you will face this issue so we have a string this is a json string and then we have a map of string and string to get this deserialized into the into a particular class so this string is not proper the reason we are we got this exception so we will just copy the method name go the anonymous window execute this Okay, we will go to debug only and json exception the following exception has occurred illegal value of primitive so any illegal value to the primitive data type might be causing the issue so if this is not uh, clear or formatted well then you will get this exception and you can verify this using json validator the json structure then the last we have search exception when this exception generally occurs is when we try to do sosl that is salesforce object search language we, we try to query anything and if we have defined only one character then this exception will occur because as per the best practices or as per the rule to query anything in SOSL, you should specify more than one character. So, as you can see, we have only find A in all fields returning account. There are some fields on which we can run uh, this SOSL, that is name, number, email. So, on these three, four fields, we can only uh, query while trying to search for data into uh, Salesforce database using SOSL. So if we are if we have only a or single character is there then this exception will occur if we have more than one character then this exception will not occur. so we will just go and execute this search exception example so we'll copy this we'll control a for anonymous window just paste the name of that method and execute it debug only the system is search exception the following exception has occurred search term must be longer than one character so if the search term is longer than one character then 
the error will not be thrown or it will not go to that exception otherwise the exception will occur okay so we have covered in this video we have covered limit exception as object exception type exception assert exception json exception search exception so if you have any query about this you can write in the comments thank you have a nice day bye